guys, welcome back to Bake by Finn. My name's Finn, I'm the winner of Junior Bake Off 2019 and today I'm going to be answering some of your most asked questions. Don't forget to stick around until the end of the video where I will have a special announcement for you all. So before we start, I'm just going to start by saying there are some questions that I can't answer that you've asked me. Um, yeah, because I don't really want to ruin it for future contestants or anything like that. And yeah, these questions are asked to me via Instagram, which you can find me at Bait by Finn. And yeah, I'm gonna get on with it. What was the longest period of time being in the tent? Um, I mean, we had baits that were like three hours. I had three three hour baits. So was obviously the final cake, the ice buns and biscuits, which was one and the Milfoy technicals on patisserie day. But when you're in there, it doesn't feel like three hours. Like you might think, oh, three hours, that's, you know, that's quite a long time. But in there, it's like 10 seconds. So it really did feel like 10 seconds. <laughs> right, next question. What is a typical day in the JBO tent like? Oh, I mean, each day is like a little bit different because each day you do different things. But... Yeah, probably so. You get, like, every day is just, like, really chilled. It's really fun. Um, you just get up, have breakfast, bake, and then, yeah, that's, that's literally it. And then, like, you get, you get to do, like, the judging, which is really fun to watch through and, like, oh, what, what have they said? You know, all that stuff. So, yeah, that's sort of, like, a normal day. Right, question number three. How did you find out about applying? Right, this is a bit of a long story. So my mum's friend saw this like thing, it must be on Facebook or something, and she texted it to my mum and she was like, Finn has to apply for this, like, come on, just do it with him. And that must have been at like 10 o'clock at night, she sent it over and I was just thinking, oh, should we? So yeah, we was literally filling this form out until like 12 o'clock, and I was in my pyjamas, and we had to take like a picture, like to put on it. And I was literally in my pyjamas in this picture and I was like, like with bed head. And yeah, that was how like we found out about applying. So yeah. Right, next question. What is your favourite thing to bake? I mean, obviously I love doing my cakes and stuff like that. That's why I put them on my YouTube channel and they're also on my Instagram and all social media, things like that. But I've got to admit, I love doing my fondant figures at the minute. These, some little elephants that I made, which I love doing. So yeah, I do like doing these though. Would you do a TV programme on baking? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. ITV, Channel 4, BBC, Food Network. DM me. Um, right, next question. You would want to go on the adult bake off. Oh, that's so that's such a hard one. So I actually thought about this, and I was like, mm, well, would I really? And I mean, I'd do anything to be back in that tent. Like the experience was amazing. But I think, like maybe after a few years, I'd start to miss it a lot. I probably would, maybe apply, but. I don't know. I think I've had that experience and I feel like it'd be a bit wrong to take it off someone else. But I would want to be back in that tent soon. <laughs> right. Was your family happy about you entering? I'm going to be honest, they didn't have a choice. I wanted to, so... <laughs> I mean, to be honest, my family didn't think I'd get, like, like I'd get on it. Never mind, win it. <laughs> Um, yeah, but they was really supportive and like they was just all there for me when I'm, I was having breakdowns in the kitchen and, you know, cleaning up after me at like one o'clock in the morning when I was going to bed. <laughs> oh. What did you do with your trophy? My trophy is in a high security safe. It is locked up on the top of a mountain and it is safe. That of course is a lie, it's up in my bedroom. <laughs> I want to get like a stand, like a, a, a case to put it in or something like that. 
like a display case really so yeah proudest bake in the tent oh it's got to be my last one hasn't it i mean i won with that yeah definitely my most most proud my, my most proudest my best bait in the tent that i'm most proud of is my own one because i mean i won with it so yeah i like that one it means a lot to me how did it feel to be announced the winner of Junior Bake Off? Question mark. Felt very surreal, quite odd. I um, didn't believe it at first, and yeah, when we was driving home up like the next day, I was like, "What has just happened?" <laughs> yeah, it was really weird, very weird. Right, <laughs> I really do like this question. How did you manage to always be so tidy and neat and not be affected by the tense turmoil around you? Um, I mean, looking back in my head, I think I was very all over the place, not very organised. And then, like, my mum would say to me, like, when we were watching it back, why is your station so clean? And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, well, there's not much on it. <laughs> and yeah. I don't know how I managed to stay that tidy, but I think luck may have been on my side. Oh, but yeah, in my head it was just absolute chaos, carnage, balls everywhere. When people were looking at me, I was thinking I was getting on quite calmly and all that. It was not like that in my head though. Do you feel like JBO should have had signature baits too? I mean, I do. I would have, I would have loved signature bakes, just to be in the tent longer. Yeah, I would, I would have loved signature bakes. I would have think that would have been great, like addition to the show. I mean, I understand why they didn't because filming days would have been too long, and maybe it would have been a bit too much for us, like to practice. And yeah, I understand why they didn't, but I would have liked it as well. <sighs> Which weekly theme was your favourite? Mm, that's such a hard one because I mean I, I liked all of them. Don't get me wrong, I really did like. Them. No, I liked all of them. I liked all of them. I couldn't pick. <laughs> dessert week. I did like dessert week. That was one of my favourites. So I did get an answer in the end. It took me a minute though. How long did you have to practice your showstoppers? Um, I mean, like we had enough time to practice, but it really was up to you how much you practice within the time that they give you. I mean, I, when I was practicing, I was like starting practicing at like, what, um, like I'd start practicing as soon as I got home from school, like I was in the kitchen, ready, baking, and then I just would not stop until I practiced like three different things and I'd and I'd got them all like improved and you know brought them developed them a bit and I'd probably say I wouldn't have gone to bed any later than like one in the morning and then I'd have to get up and go to school the next day and then repeat it all again but yeah I loved it though I loved it <sighs> do it again though definitely would Right guys, I promised you a special announcement and here it is. So at the minute you might have noticed I'm not as active on my Instagram as I was and that is because I'm currently building my own kitchen which is really exciting. So yeah, you won't, well maybe in a few weeks or a month or two you won't see me in this background anymore. I'll be in my own kitchen which is really exciting and it's been so much fun to make it so far. And yeah, I'll also have a video coming out, very, not very soon, once it's all finished, showing you how I made my kitchen, well, not me personally, but how my kitchen started and how it's developed and I've been taking pictures all the way through to show you, so yeah. Well, thank you so much guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, it's been a lot of fun making, and yeah, follow me on Instagram at BakeByFins for my baking journey. And yeah, thank you so much for putting all these questions. Yeah. Right, see you next time. Bye.